There's a lot of complaining going on around Adobe Firefly that is not working, it's filled with bugs and it's not generating what you ask for or it's just a scam, blah, blah, blah. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I discovered in Adobe Firefly on how to generate the right images. I might fail at it, but this is everything I know so far. The very first thing you need to do is select the right browser. Now, some people actually figured out that it's not working properly in Safari on Mac. I suggest you to use Google Chrome instead. I'm also on PC and I use Chrome and Opera. And I also, by curiosity, I tested out on MacBook to see what is going on. And I used the same exact prompt and process like in the last video I did. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description so you can check out how to generate this. Now, these are some of the results. As you can see, it is adding way less bubbles and the letters are not prominent enough. It doesn't have enough contrast and it's not generating the same thing that I did in Chrome. And then check this out. In the other hand, this is what I generated on my PC instead of Mac. The contrast is way higher. There's way more details in it and it looks complete you know the ones generated in safari didn't look complete but these ones generated on my pc look perfect all right so now we got that out of the way we can search for adobe firefly i'm just going to type into google adobe firefly enter and let's go to adobe.com and click on get firefly free all you need to do is just sign up and you're in and here you can see the search bar and all you need to do is click on generate and this is going to be the image that is going to generate from default. And I'm going to go down to click on clear. And I'm also going to delete the prompt. And the website name is firefly.adobe.com. On the left side, you can find the menu. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're on Firefly Image 3 Preview. The second thing you're going to need to set up is the aspect ratio. We got like landscape, 4x3, portrait, 3x4, square, 1x1, one one, and the widescreen, 16x9. So this is how you need to imagine the aspect ratio and how these artboards are going to look like. And here basically you're going to need to choose the right aspect ratio where you're going to fit your image. For example, I used to use this liquid typo on most of the Adobe Firefly tutorials for these liquid typos to generate liquid effects. And for this one, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio works just fine. Now there are these special occasions where some people try to shove in some really wide names which basically won't fit the wide aspect ratio. And what they do is widen the artboard size, going just exponentially wide like a panoramic image. And they try to upload on Adobe Firefly and guess what happens? Well, it is going to crop it. So the solution is just to scale it down into the 16 by nine aspect ratio. But if you got a long name, you might not get some good results anyways. Now, if you want to write out your full name, if those names are short, it's going to fit perfectly the four by three aspect ratio. And if you want to generate the best results, you can work with letters on one by one aspect ratio. So in my case, I'm going to go with the default widescreen. Next, you can find the content type. You got art, photo or auto. So I'm going to show you what is going to generate with art first and then photo. And then I'm going to go to the structure reference. Here we can upload the reference image. So I'm going to go to upload image and I'm going to go and select this condensed sans serif right now. Click open, continue and increase the strength to maximum. Also, when you upload your reference image, make sure that the text is black and the background is white and export it as a JPEG. And don't try to export it in a transparent PNG with no background because it won't work. And let's go down to the prompts. And right now, we're just gonna generate images with prompts only. And next, we're gonna generate with the style reference images as well. And I'm gonna type in retro neon sign on a cinema entrance in New York vintage. Let's go and click on try prompt. And as you can see, it is generating something artistic, it's making something digital art related, which are not that advanced as in Mid Journey, but you also can try it out with photo instead of art. So I'm gonna switch it to photo and let's click on generate. And wow, check this out. So this is the realistic mode. It is going to generate the exact neon signs that I was looking for. So if you got a logo or something, you can just generate them here and you got some mockups going on. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a work in progress. Adobe Firefly is new and it's still evolving. I also gonna switch up the reference image to this liquid typo that I made. Open, generate. And as you can see, it made a mess out of it. It is not working properly as the straight sans serif fonts. All these results came out horrible. So you might ask, why is that? Well, the truth is some fonts work really good with these scenarios. For example, with the neon signs on a cinema entrance in New York. But then you can see this liquid typo works really good with other liquid prompts. And it is not working at all with sans serif fonts. 
or other fonts with straight lines and sharp edges like these ones here. So basically you're going to need to find the right font for the right scenario. You can use a sans serif in many cases, but you cannot use the sans serif for liquid effects. Instead, this custom font that I made works well with liquid effects, or you also can use the Estrella font, it's for free. Cooper Black is also rounded and it might work in different scenarios or the Anton Regular, another sans serif. Basically, this was the one that I used at the very beginning for the retro neon sign and it worked great. And for the next one, we're going to generate with style reference images and structure reference images. And this pretty much works 100%. So first I'm going to go to the reference images, I'm going to click on the X, so it's going to delete it, I'm going to clear everything, all the prompt, whoops, I just pressed enter, and now we're going to type into the prompt something new, I'm going to go with delicious cake cream isolated on brown background, and that's it, click on generate, I'm going to choose the one that I like most, for example this one, click on download, and if you want to create more similarities, you can go to the edit and click on generate similar. I don't like none of these. I gotta go to the prompt, delicious white cake cream. Let's try this out and let's download some of these. If you don't like any of them, you can click on generate more. Wow, these actually look pretty nice. It looks like some rows. Okay, so after this, we're gonna go to the reference image and upload image. I'm gonna go with this liquid typo again, click on open, push the strength all the way up. Let's scroll down and here we got the style image reference. And we're gonna go to upload image. I'm gonna go to the Karimi pictures that I generated. So I'm gonna go, for example, with the first one, click on open. And here we got some new settings going on. We got the style, visual intensity, and the strength. Right now, I'm gonna decrease these all. Visual intensity zero, strength zero. And I'm gonna click on generate. And there you go. It did the job pretty good, actually. Not all of them, but some of them look pretty nice. Especially this one. I'm also gonna download these and generate some more. Okay, so it keeps repeating itself and now we're going to go to the strength, I'm going to increase it to 50 and click on generate. This is basically going to switch up the silhouette of your text, but not in the scenario. I'm also going to increase the strength all the way to 100%, click on generate and it's going to add even more details in it. You can increase the visual intensity. It is going to make it more and more creamy. I'm going to switch up the image because this doesn't look that well. I'm going to go with this white one. And I'm gonna go down with the strength, generate, and check this out. These look amazing, actually. So basically, I needed the right image for this. Because with the previous image, it didn't generate the correct stuff I wanted. But the details on this image looks pretty impressive. Now, take that in mind that these handles doesn't work all the time. So you can switch them. And in my situation, it is going to generate the same exact thing. But for example, with these liquid fluids that I generated last time, those settings actually mattered a lot. You also can go and browse gallery and select some other images. For example, this one acrylic and oil and you're also going to need to change up the prompt in this case so i'm going to go with blue acrylic painting let's see what we're going to get and right now it's going to generate this i'm going to try it out to set up the style reference image settings right here so i'm going to decrease it the strength to zero visual intensity on low and let's see what happens. And yeah, look at that. Now it generated even more interesting stuff. Now the letters are even more clear. Let me add brush here. And I'm going to go with isolated on paper background. Enter. Now isolated on white paper. And as you can see, made it with brush. It doesn't switch up the background, unfortunately. So yeah, this is pretty much what you can generate with this uh, reference style image. And then you also got some other settings going on here. You can basically select effects, movements, themes, materials, effects, and so on and so forth. I usually never touch these. You also got color and tone. You can go and test them out. The light is also pretty good. You can check it out. And not at least you got the camera angle. And so far, pretty much this is it what I discovered in Adobe Firefly. Thanks for watching.